Welcome to the first Atom tutorial for CLI tools. Today we're going to be showing you how to install the Atom 2.3 Vagrant Box. You can follow along in our administrator's manual with the using Vagrant instructions. For this tutorial, we'll be assuming that you've already taken the time to install VirtualBox and Vagrant on your local computer. There are plenty of tutorials available online to help you regardless of what operating system you're using. You'll also need your terminal for this application. Shall we get started? First thing that we're going to do is to create a directory. First go to the place where you want to install the directory and then type make dir mkdir and the name of the directory you want to make. After that we'll change to that directory with cds. From here we can now initiate our vagrant box. Type vagrant init artifactual slash atom. Now your Vagrant box is initialized. Next thing we can do is type Vagrant up. This will start booting the box. This can take a while depending on the speed of your operating system. Our Vagrant box is now initializing and getting ready for use. Now we can open a browser. Enter the address to access the Vagrant box. 10.10.10.10 is the default address. And we're ready to go. You can now log into your application and begin using Atom. If you're unfamiliar with using the application, Remember, you can always read our documentation at accesstomemory.org slash docs. We version our documentation for each major release. For these tutorials, we're using version 2.3. When you're done with this session of Vagrant, just type Vagrant Halt into the command line. The next time you want to use your Vagrant box, simply return to the root directory and type Vagrant Up again. Join us for the further tutorials to find out more about using the CLI tools in Atom.